Hello, everyone. Listen, my mother had fixed these beans. My Lord, they were so good. So, so, so good. I'm going to show you today a quick way, easy way, how to do these beans. Now, this place, I don't know if y'all have it in your town, but we have it here in San Antonio. This place right here is called Honey Baked Ham. Okay, it's over on Broadway. I, I I seen one over on Broadway. I'm gonna put the address, and everything up for the people who stay around this way, or you can have them to send it to you. I'm gonna put that website up so you can go on there and order, and they'll send it to you. Now we're gonna use this right here, mixed bean soup. I'm using two of these. Okay, you can use whatever how many you want, but it has these mixed beans in there, okay? My mother says about four or five in there or something like four or five different beans in there. But I'm going to see myself and I'll let you know how many different kind of beans I find. It has the seasoning already mixed up in there, okay? But it's more stuff we're going to put in there so we can make it perfect, all right? Now, this is it right here, okay? Make sure you get this, and I'm only using two because I, I I don't have I don't have a big big family. My mother called all of us over and told us to come get some. Now they have this ham part there, this they have this there, okay, and it's the bone it's it, it's the bone part, and you take this. And I'm going to open it up now because I hadn't opened it up yet. Okay? You're going to take this. Ugh. We're going to open it up because you're going to see what it looks like. And we're going to boil it. They got it wrapped up pretty good up in here now. Now, <clears throat> this is how it comes. Okay, see that bone? See that? That's how it's coming. This is after they cut everything off. Then you have this here. So they decide they're going to sell this here. Okay, so we're going to take this right here part, and I'm going to boil it in here. Okay, I'm going to boil it up in here. And I'm going to let it boil for a while. I'm going to put me 12 cups of water in there. So the water I'm going to put in there, we're going to use 12 cups of year, and I'm going to let it boil while I'm at work. Okay? I'm going to let it boil. And we're going to, this, this is a full cup right here. So I'm filling this here up, and we're going to let this here boil. Okay? I'm going to fill that up first, and that's going to boil. So I want this here to boil while I'm gone, and fill it on up. This is going to take more than uh, 12 cups to now to fill that up, because that's a big old pot. That's not no little pot. That's, a, that's one of them big pots. It's a big pot. So I'm going to let this here go ahead on boil. Now I'm boiling mine first. I didn't follow the instructions on the uh, thing because I want this here to boil. So I get all this juice out of there. So I'm going to put this on the stove, let it boil. I'm going to tell you how many hours I'm letting it boil. Then uh, I'll be back to add the beans. Okay, everyone. This is everything I have to go into this mixed bean soup. Okay? This is everything. And it has seasonings in it already mixed up in here. We have carrots that we're going to dice in there. Okay? Carrots. We have a bell pepper, green bell pepper that I'm going to dice up. We have celery 
that I'm going to dice up and I'll tell you how much of salary I use and I'm going to measure everything off so you'll know just what I'm using to go into these two bags. We have um, mild diced tomatoes with green chili. Okay, I have that. We have bouillon cubes. All right, we're going to use us about five or six bouillon cubes to go in there. And we have a yellow, orange, and red bell pepper that I'm going to dice up. And we have onion. One, one, one onion that I'm going to dice up. We have garlic cloves. I'm going to put me about two of those garlic cloves in there. And I have about three bay leaves out of my garden that I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to go ahead on. I'm going to cut up the ham. I got the ham over there. It's been boiling and everything. I done got off from work and stuff. So now I'm going to put this on. All right. And I'll be back. So this is the way it comes. It looks like this in there. Okay. Then it has this in there. All this seasoning is in there. Okay. So this is the way it looks in there. So I'm diced up, I am diced up the ham now. Okay. So I'm going to measure this ham off really basic to see how much of diced ham I have. I just have them in these little cubes like this. Enough where you know when you pick it up in a spoon, you have it. So this right here equals out to four cups, almost four cups, three and a half cups. That's what it is, okay? And then I'll see if I need more later. Okay, so this is the way I'm doing everything. I'm just taking everything, putting it in a dicer, okay? I am dicing it up enough to where I know that it's going to be okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something. When your beans are halfway cooked, then put your seasonings in, okay? When your beans are halfway cooked, then put your bell pepper, your onion, and everything else all in there. And then you know that flavor is going to be there, okay? And that's the way I do it. So now I have all of these right here diced on up. Okay, of all my bell pepper, onion, everything diced on up. Now, I bought these kind of carrots right here. Okay, I had had a lot of carrots at one time. <clears throat> and uh, I gave a lot of them away. I didn't think to cut me up none and keep them for myself because I didn't. But I bought these kinds like this here because I said they'll be perfect to fit inside of a... a inside of a, a spoon when you eat these beans up here. So I just went on bottom on like this here and I'm gonna dice these here on up here. And I'm making so to where they are gonna fit inside of a spoon. Okay, so that's how I'm doing these. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead on and dice this here on up and uh, I'll be back and I'm gonna put everything into the beans okay now <clears throat> reality this may look like a whole lot to go into two packages of beans but think about it when it starts cooking it shrinks and then it's nothing there okay so think about that okay think about it all right and then i'm going to get me uh six Bouillon cubes, and that's going in. You won't have to add no salt to this because bouillon cubes are salty. And I'm going to put in black pepper, okay? So I just want y'all to know black pepper is going into this, okay? So we're going to have black pepper in now. I'm going to put me about two, two, about one tablespoon to start it off, one tablespoon of black pepper. I'm gonna put that in now, okay? And again, um, the tomatoes, I'm gonna put that in now. And I'm, I'm thinking about one can, I don't know yet. I'm gonna see after it cooks down a little bit more, after the beans cook down a little bit more, then I'm gonna know about how much or whatever I'm going to put in there, okay? Now I have my carrots and everything cut up and I have 
my uh, bell pepper onion cut up in here. My celery is already cut up. My five, my six bouillon cubes are here. My garlic is in here. Now I'm going to take everything and throw it into the pot. Okay? And I'll be back when it's finished. Oh, and I forgot to say my mild uh, diced uh, tomatoes with the uh, green chili. That's going in now. Okay, I forgot to tell you that one. I'm going to put that in there now. I wanted to show everybody how the beans turned out. Now, this is the beans. And this is how they turned out with all of the seasonings. This is the beans. And this is how it turned out with all of the seasonings and everything in it. And take a look at it, y'all. Look. Now, that is a good bean soup. Excellent. All the flavor, everything all in there. Look at that. Do you see them beans? You see the carrots and everything? Oh, that looks so good. Yes, it does. Okay, everyone. Bean soup. From the honey ham place on Bandera. The famous honey ham place had the ham bone, the beans, and the seasoning. All you have to do is add carrots, diced tomatoes, and the bell pepper, and the onions, and the bay leaves, and the garlic, and all of the rest of the other. Oh, yeah, and bouillon cubes. All the other seasonings are in there. And there's a place I want to show y'all that I went to where um, I had lobster. And the place come from Austin. They had lobster hot dogs, lobster tater tots, lobster uh, quesadilla. I mean, I mean, it is just marvelous. So that's going to be in the video too, okay? All I want to tell you is bon appetit, baby. And have a beautiful day. Bye. Oh, and I want to thank everyone for their prayers and everything that you're sending my brother. This is, this has been the most warmest, welcomest, seasoning holiday of all. And I want to bless everyone. And I want to thank everyone. And all I want to tell you is, Bon appetit. Oh, yes. Make sure you have this bean soup. It's getting cold out there. And it is excellent with some cornbread. Bye, y'all. So, everyone, I was on my way home. And I seen this. Look at this. Cuisine Maine Lobster. Maine Lobster. They have this here. Up here. And they are out of Austin. And... This is what's on it. This, and you can go to the website and everything and take a look at it. And this is their telephone number and everything. And this is how it looks. This is the truck. They come here once a month here to serve everyone. Okay? And this is their van. Look at all the look at all the things where they've been today and all like this here. And it's parked over here. They say they come here once a month. So I'm going to find out, try to find out when they come. This is the front of it, on the side where you order at. Okay? And this is their menu, how they have it looking. And this is the menu here of everything that you see. And this is how they have it. Right here. And this is everything you'll see, okay? I want to show you what I have. This is the lobster, um, like a bun. It's on a bun. I have to get the name of that. It'll be on the front. And then we have lobster quesadillas. Now that looks good. Okay. And this is how they come. And it's three of them. Okay. While they do is fold it over and cut it. And they got something to dip in it. And this is lobster tots. Okay? And that's that. 
I just wanted to show y'all what it was. All right, so hey, if you ever get down or uh, wherever here, cuisine, Maine lobster, hey, I'm gonna taste it. I'll let you know how it is.